Welcome to our Leavers Celebration Assembly. Our original plan was to stage a full-length performance of Lemire's, complete with full orchestra, but as you can imagine, we've had to alter this. Nevertheless, we hope you enjoy our little trip down memory lane as we look back on our time at Rockingham, as well as looking forward to our new experiences. We were all so little when we started. Most of us were just four years old. We didn't know how to read, we didn't know how to write or add up. Some of us were quite good at playing and some of us already learnt how to share. But we really were very little and older children in school were really big. As big as adults we thought. We, could really, we couldn't really tell the difference then and all we knew was that everyone was older and bigger and faster and all those things awfully matter when you're four. And then in the blink of an eye, we weren't the youngest or the smallest. September came round again and a whole new group of children appeared and everyone told us how much we had grown. We no longer sat at the front in assembly and we could all read a bit and write a bit. We knew our shapes and how to add things up and we didn't get to play quite so much during school time. But at least we had a few more things that pleased our parents. And so the cycle continued, another harvest service another Christmas fair, Easter and Sports Day, and farewell to year six. All this time we learned, we grew, we made friends, we changed friends, we liked this teacher and we liked that classroom. And now years and years have passed and we're the big ones, the ones who seem like adults when you're four, except that we're not adults, we're still children and we still love playing and where, if I'm honest, many of us would have probably liked to stay here for a bit longer. The school has taught us, cared for us, nurtured us, provided us with friends, a family and where we have a lot to thank it for. Perhaps more like at anything else, we will remember our time at school for the friendships that we have made. Some of us may have been friends from the very first day of school, others may be more recent friendships. Whichever they are, we have all learned the true value of friendship. A friend can be like you, or entirely unlike you. You can share the same interests, or have entirely different interests. The only thing that defines someone as being your friend is that you feel better for having spent time with them, that you feel comfortable in their presence and that there is a mutual sense of trust and loyalty. A good friend can lift you when you're down, be there to listen when you need to talk. There's someone with whom you can share your thoughts, your experience, someone to laugh with and sometimes to cry with. 
Some of us will be going to the same school as our current friends, others may not. Friendships do change, it can be sad and difficult when they do. But if we remember the qualities of a good friend and if we make sure we promote those qualities in the way we behave, then not only will we be good friends to others, but we will find that others are good friends to us too, because that's the way it tends to work. Today we have the means to capture many memorable moments on camera, either as photos or videos. But what makes something truly memorable is how we remember it. It stays with us because it has caused us to feel something. A moment of great joy, great hilarity, or wonder, or excitement, or even sadness. When we look back in years to come on our time here at Rockingham, what will the moments be that we remember without even a photo to jog our memory? What's your guys' favourite moment? That was when we went to Willow Farm. I don't think you were there, but Sky was. We got to ride the horse for the first time and it was really fun. Yeah, I was actually quite scared. I thought I was going to fall off. I wanted to, I wish I was there to ride a horse too. What's your most memorable moment, Sky? When we went to the university um, in year five and we got to do some crazy things. I think you remember uh, how we got to touch a pig's heart and lungs. Yeah, that was cool. I like that. I almost passed out when we did that. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell. <laughs> well, my most memorable moment was when I first joined the school. Um, I was really scared and didn't know what to do. And then I got more comfortable as like the days went on and um, I met my friend Cadence. How exactly did you meet Cadence then? Well, it was at break time. Um, she was just sitting alone and because I, I was bored so I asked her if she wants to play and she said sure. So. I'm really going to miss this place, I have some really good memories. Oh yeah, um, I remember in Northumberland when we were walking back from the houses and I fell in a, like, a really big ditch and I had these trousers on and there was supposed to be walking. And because it was really windy, because we were next to the sea, they kept blowing up and when they kept saying, I don't know, that is a memory of that. We weren't rock balloons off in wood, and I spent ages looking for a crab. And when I finally found a crab in the rock ball, I slipped and I fell in. <laughs> and after, I sat on the sand and I went empty my eyes for ages. And Mrs. Greenwood took photos and kept putting it on the board. Yeah, that's all she does. Like, when she's on the she goes deep. Oh, my favourite memory is when we were in Northumberland and I had this whole double bed to myself because me, Georgie and Monica kept swapping and I fell out in the middle of the night and met Miss Tizak. How can you fall out? I don't know. Double bed. And Miss Tizak and Miss Tonks had to come and find what the band was. <laughs> what was your favourite memory? Um, when we went to eat Nottingham, oh, Robbie does be, um, we was rock rolling and then I fell in a rock wall. I'm like, it all wet and it took a whole full day to let dry. Oh. I, don't, I don't know how I slept. I thought I had it wet right yet. Remember Eam? Oh, that was right. Miss Green bought us all ice cream. Yes, yeah, she bought us all ice cream. And stuff. You know, I'm really going to miss this place. I have such fond memories. Like what? Well, remember in Foundation where we used to pretend to be builders? <laughs> yeah, when I build my own wall to keep everyone else out. And we'd wear them high this jacket. <laughs> <laughs> what was your best memory of sports? 
just getting through to the South York's finals. Yeah. What's your like best memory at the school? Probably having the friends and the teachers and I'm really gonna miss Georgie. Well, That's yeah. nice. Well, I think it would be really funny how Charlie would always have a word of the day that he would literally say every single five seconds. And then I think in like two weeks, he's going to do the word of the year, like the year six. That'll be good. I'm not soon getting his fingers stuck in his shoe. Oh, <laughs> no. When we was five, they, they asked us what we would like to be when we grew up. Our answers were like, astronaut, prime minister, or in my case, a nurse. When we were 11, they asked again, and we answered, a rock star, footballer, gold medalist, an international superstar, or in my case, a photographer. They're going to ask us again, I know it. The answer could be anything. I have a little while before I need to decide, but all I know is that until then, I just want to be me and the best I can be. Many of my friends know me by how robust I am or maybe how joking like I am. If you don't know me very well, you may find it hard due to the fact that if I am not in a good mood, I become very stubborn. When set to a task, I am either very reluctant or outgoing to try and get it done straight away. When in the classroom, there are two sides of me, either mature and composed or immature and sometimes don't listen. If you make a joke about me, I may find it funny, but underneath my mask, I might, I might not be amused. As a person, I am outgoing, but not perfect. Sometimes I make mistakes that I regret, but so does everyone, because no one is or will be perfect ever in this world. In fact, sometimes I do think that I am perfect, but every time that I do something that I think that will work out, it well, it'll go wrong and I feel down about it. When working in groups, I do like to lead, but I can listen to other people's ideas. Just like any ordinary child, I play video games and do ordinary things. Some things about me are extraordinary though, just like I sometimes have night terrors, but that is only one of the things that make me who I am. Even though life has just begun, when my head go down, I try and pick myself up and go against the current and try my best in everything. When life gets hard, I am very thankful that I have good friends to help and pick me up from the doom and gloom. I can express my feelings to whoever I feel comfortable around, and that is me for you. Who am I? Mature and dependent, how others would describe me. Little do they know, secrets are hidden deep, deep down where, in a place where no one knows. Anxiety creeps over my doubtful insecurities. Not caring too much, that is all I desire, as I overthink every step, breath or action I take. I'm always prepared, ready for everything. I want to be accepted, I always will and always was. Living life like every day is my last is my goal. Keeping myself surrounded with good people is what I aim to do. I take care and make sure they are happy before me. Sometimes stubborn, I'll not take no as an answer. Flaws are what make me me. I'm not perfect nowhere near, but I'm me and that's what makes me perfect. Quirky, anxious, insecure, I hate being alone. I will learn to love myself. 
I am very loyal to friends and family because I always stick with the same people and keep my family's business to myself. Even if we fall out and we have our differences, we always come back together. Nothing can tear us apart. We are inseparable. I am also very selfless and I love to know that people are okay and if they not, I will try to help. I am very secretive most of the time. Even though people think they know everything about my life and what I do, I tend to keep things hidden in me. This stops me from feeling too open. I can also be a drama queen and overreact because I am very bossy. This is because I like things my way. Sometimes I tend to have trust issues which can make it hard for me to make friends. However, I, when I get to know somebody, I will open up and get really chatty, but that's a bit hard to believe. One thing I love about myself is that I'm very sensible and can easily take myself away from bad situations that I think it is going to end up bad or good. This gives me the ability to stay safe and make the right choices no matter where I am. Also, if I feel threatened by somebody, I will try to be sensible as possible and ignore them. If you want to talk, I'm your saviour. I think I'm the most approachable person and I love to help people with their problems and have a good chat. It doesn't matter who you are, it's really easy to speak to me because I'm a good listener and a bit of a chat at the box myself. Also, other people would have to come to me because I'm nervous sometimes. My personality is a mix of leadership, creativity and kindness. I could admit that I like being in charge but I'm also able to listen to other people. Exciting ideas can burst from my creative mind, but only if I'm in the right mood. Sometimes my emotions can get the best of me and I get frustrated and annoyed if things aren't perfect, but if I'm around the right people then I can calm down. Many people, including my family and friends, say that I look, sound and act more mature than I actually am, due to the respect I have towards them and my school teachers. Although I like everything to be perfect, that trait can also be a positive as it means I am dedicated to things I am passionate about, such as dancing and art. However, I am not always so uptight. Letting loose and having fun with my friends is what I like people to see as the other side of me. Due to my outgoing personality, it is not too hard for me to make friends. Not only am I loyal and accepting, I am also understanding of people with different backgrounds, religions, and I get along with friends of all ages. This is a result of my many younger cousins and family members with different beliefs. People at school say I'm just a regular girl, but what they don't know is I keep my weirdness behind a locked door. What I'm trying to say is I'm different and at school than I am at home. When I open the door, I feel unlocked and I am free to be who I am. For most of my friends and family, I am just a normal little girl, but what they don't quite know is everything. Crazy lazy, that is what I call myself. I am crazy in my own way. Everyone has that little thing they hide away, but this is what I hide away. But to some of my close family and friends, they see it all the time. My bed is my heaven. I would never leave it if my mum would let me. I love to sleep, but I will have to get up at some point. It is just like at my second home. It is mostly where I spend my days, in my pyjamas. My bed is my best friend and most of all, where I have my sweet dreams. Everybody has goals, aspirations and everyone has been at a point in their life where nobody has believed in them. You've got what it takes, but it will take everything that you have got.
coming to the end of a particular part of our life can be difficult. They are inevitable feelings of sadness and loss and it is important for us to accept this as being very normal. But the end of one chapter means the beginning of another. A chapter full of potential, full of opportunity and there will be challenges ahead but once that can bring great satisfaction, meaning, happiness and excitement. We need to be ready to make the most of these opportunities. At times we will need to be courageous, sometimes even daring. We may need to stand up for ourselves and we may need to speak up too. But as long as we place kindness at the heart of what we do and try to maintain positive and honest friendships, then we have every chance of enjoying our future and helping others to do so too. And though we may be leaving primary school, it will never leave us. And we know we will always, always be welcome back to return as part of the Rockingham community. I hope the days come easy and the moments pass slow And each road leads you where you want to go And if you're faced with a choice and you have to choose I hope you choose the one that means the most to you and if one door opens to another door closed I hope you keep on walking till you find the window If it's cold outside Show the world the warmth of your smile But more than anything More than anything My wish for you Is that this life